Brent Tech here, where Tech is made simple. Just another how-to video, and today we're going to have a look at how we can clear the thumbnail cache on both Windows 10 and 11. Now, in case you are unaware, your thumbnail cache provides image previews for different files like photos, videos, and so on. And it just gives you a quick preview of what that file uh, is all about without having to actually open that individual photo or video and also on windows 10 you get folder thumbnail previews that lets you see uh, the contents within the folder without having to actually um, open the folder so it just gives you a preview of some of the contents that folder um, contains and the folder preview thumbnail preview is not available at the stage on windows 11. now there are one or two reasons you may want to clear the thumbnail cache on both operating systems and in no particular order um, um, the first would be due to the fact that the thumbnail cache can increase in size over time and over time and um, depending on how many thumbnails are generated and how many photos files videos and so on you have on your device and um, that can increase in size and take up unnecessary disk space so that would be one reason to clear the thumbnail cache and another reason would be due to the thumbnail uh, database becoming um, corrupted and um, that means that uh, a good indication of that would be you start seeing weird things appearing on thumbnails like as an example different image images appearing on the wrong files or photos or videos which is a good indication that that database for those thumbnails has become corrupted now to clear the thumbnail cache on both windows 10 and 11 it's very simple and what i would suggest is just to head to your search and we're going to do a search for the disk cleanup a utility and all you do in the search is just type in disk cleanup and then you just hit enter and that will open up the legacy disk cleanup utility for both windows 10 and 11 and then um, you just click on ok and that will do a quick search um, uh, for junk files on your system and what you want to do in case you don't want to clear all the other fields and get rid of those other unnecessary files because today we're just looking at how we're going to clear the thumbnail cache you go right down to the bottom and you just make sure that thumbnails is checked and here we can see i mean i obviously clear my thumbnails on a regular basis so um, i have 7.01 megabytes of thumbnails and that's the amount of disk space that those thumbnails are taking up and this can be a, a, a much larger size depending on how um, often you do clear your thumbnail cache and then all we do is once that's checked you just click ok delete files and that will take a second or two and that will um, delete that thumbnail cache and then if we go back to that fo folder with those thumbnails I had um, at, which I sh uh, made mention of at the beginning of this video I'm just going to go back and then just do a folder refresh and now you will see that those thumbnails will uh, get refreshed quite quickly and you can see there they got refreshed so now that is refreshed and cleared the thumbnail cache and if there was any um, database corruption that uh, will clear up the issue and also um, it deletes that unnecessary disk space as mentioned. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.